Hello, my name is Mike Keenest, and I'm at the White Bear Lake Superstore here in White Bear Lake, Minnesota. And I'm standing in front of a 2017 GMC Savannah Explorer Quigley conversion van with a Vista cruiser roof on it. Uh, this is a seven passenger van. It's on the, uh, has a special blue on it. Uh, so today we're gonna do a walk around video on this van and we're gonna go around the outside and the inside of the van. Um, so let's just dive right into the video. Um, here we have uh, uh, the, the blue color, which I think is a, a great combination on the outside of the van. We have our stainless steel mesh grill here installed by the Explorer Van Company. Um, we have our full bumper wrap here. We have our, uh, our step right here to get up and wash the windshield, that kind of thing. LED light, driving lights down here. Um, we have our stainless steel mesh here just to give a little bit more of an accent. Um, but great, great look in front on the van right here. Um, so coming around the side of the van, and again, we're on a seven passenger uh, regular wheelbase fan. We're, we're rolling on the 20 inch rims here and, and we can put them on the seven passenger van. When we get into the extended van, we have to go down to the, uh, the 17. So uh, really sharp looking rim there. Um, looking in the passenger side here, we'll notice that the board comes down right here. You have a great transition getting up into the van. Um, right here we have the antelope on the steer hide as far as the color with the, uh, the, the, the dark brown interior, or the carpet I should say. Um, looking at the door panel here, all the speakers have been upgraded to JL Audio, so they're all pulled out. Um, we have the, uh, the burl trim on here with the, uh, with the door armrest right here. We'll shut that door up and notice how our board's gonna go back up underneath our ground effect. Um, so with the ground effects on this particular unit, we're gonna have about two and a half inches more clearance here, so we're not gonna ding up the bottom of the ground effects. And that board tucks up uh, underneath there nice enough to where we're not gonna damage that either. Let's uh, just take a peek in the back of the van here. I'll flip the barn doors open. We'll get a shot of this. Um, so again, beautiful on the interior, uh, brand new 2017 Savannah van. These seats right here are on 360 degree swivels. Uh, they're on quick release brackets. We can take the seat belt out, flip the lever and pull the seat out. Uh, they're manageable, not too heavy. I do want to touch on the seats a little bit. Um, these seats are 100% handmade. At the Explorer Van Company, they have a, uh, a fab shop right in house. Uh, so they build them from the frame up. This is all hand stitched, die cut leather. Um, so very, very beautiful seats. You're not going to see anything like this anywhere else in the industry, that kind of thing. Uh, when we look up at the roof line up here, we have the Vista Cruiser roof. So we have all the lighting, which is on a dimmer, um, through there. Uh, then now this van, I'd probably put some dark limo tint on there so it doesn't reflect off the 29-inch uh, the Samsung TV. Um, so coming back out of the van, we'll shut the doors here. Go around to the back um, and here we are this is what makes this van so special um, the Quigley 4x4 uh, best in the industry right here um, excellent excellent product looking at the back of the van we have uh, our tow package right on here we have uh, the seven pin four pin right here the van does have a 9500 pound towing capacity so uh, with a transmission cooler, oil cooler, that kind of thing. So pretty much anything you can throw at it. Let's open up the barn doors here. Take a peek at this. So we have a three-way power folding sofa. Um, this sofa is gonna move back and forth six inches to give us more leg room in the front or more cargo space in the back. So if we move it all the way forward, you can see how it changes the cargo volume right here. Little vacuum right here. Our jack is right here accessible. Um, I'm gonna move the sofa back, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it down. Take a peek at this real quick. Now this, this uh, sofa here is just about uh, six foot. Um, it's pretty comfortable. Now I can swivel those seats around just to give me more leg room if I'm sleeping in here. Uh, but it's just a great thing, you're traveling on the road, 
Um, you just want to come over, you know, maybe get four or five hours worth of sleep and get back on the road. And uh, that's really what it's designed for. If we peek down here on the right side over here, we'll see two USB charging ports. So in the back back here, I have two on that side, two on that side. Um, so that's a great feature there too. So what we'll do is we'll fold this sofa back up. And I do want to point out too that the sofa is on a, uh, on a relay. So if the, the, the electric 12 volt motor is, is drawing too many amps, it's going to kick out that relay. Um, that's just for a safety standpoint. If there's anything stuck in the sofa, maybe a child's arm, anything like that, it's, it's going to kick out. And then you have to wait about five minutes for that to, to reset and then you can go on with it. So let's shut up these doors. And we'll go around the driver's side here. So um, looking at the driver's side here again, you know, we have our Vista roof up on the top. Very, very nice looking van. And, and again, you know, when you go through the video here that you're watching, you see something that you want to change, you want to add. That's what we specialize in here at the Superstore is we build out custom merchandise to fit your needs. So uh, just because it uh, looks like this, we can change it around that kind of thing. Going to the driver's cabin right here. Again, we have our, our step that's custom fit right for the driver's side doors. It doesn't need to go all the way back. And of course, we have our, uh, our door padding right in here. Power heated mirrors, um, leather wrapped steering wheel. Our steering wheel controls right on the, uh, the steering wheel there. Um, and when we get into the van, we're gonna go over the radio and some other uh, electronics and that kind of thing. So uh, we'll see you inside. Here we are inside of the 2017 GMC Savannah Explorer Quigley van. Um, just going to kind of go over some of the features in the van itself here. So when we look at the, the, the steering wheel controls here, we have our volume, our presets right here, our cruise control on this side. Um, if you ever had a GM vehicle, it's uh, pretty standard here. But uh, just notice that we've taken all the factory trim off. The, uh, this is all vacuum formed right at the Explorer van company. There's about uh, six, seven different color combinations that you could pick for this. Um, going over to the radio itself, um, we have uh, the Intellink radio that was upgraded in uh, 2015. So we have uh, all our navigation, that kind of thing, our traffic nav, uh, Bluetooth capable, of course. And um, the nice thing about this system right here um, is just the ability to use it very easy um, and user-friendly itself. We have our tow haul button right here. Again, the vehicle tows 9,500 pounds. Um, you probably want to push this if you're up over 3,000 pounds. And uh, vehicle tow is great because, again, we're on a, a three-quarter ton chassis on this vehicle. Our 4x4 light right here, when we're in 4x4, um, that light's going to come on. If we look right down here, this is our shifter for our 4x4. We have the 4 high, the 2 high, the neutral, and the 4 low. Um, you can shift up into four high, up speeds 60, 70 miles an hour, so it is shift on the fly. Uh, we've kept this uh, manual shifter right here just because it is, uh, um, it's robust. There's no problems with it, that kind of thing. It works every single time instead of having a, a vacuum switch, that kind of thing, which uh, definitely has its purpose as well. 12 volt here, our traction controls to fill a track. This vehicle does have a G80 locker in the back, so what that means, the vehicle has posi traction. Very important. Um, our airbag switch right here for our passenger seat, our OnStar. We'll touch on the OnStar a little bit here. Um, so the vehicle has a 4G LTE Wi-Fi built into the vehicle. It's $20 a month on limited data. Um, so with that, we have our Blu-ray player, um, which is a smart Blu-ray player, so we can stream Netflix, that kind of thing. Um, had very, very good results as far as uh, getting signal, that kind of thing. So that works extremely well. And again, for $20 a month on limited data, you can do a monthly package, you can do a yearly package, whatever you want to do. So uh, also through the OnStar, you're going to get your remote app link. So you can put that on your phone. That service is free for five years. You do not, under any circumstances, have to uh, have the OnStar subscription to do that. So the remote app link is uh, on your smartphone. Um, you can go into the app, you can start the vehicle anywhere in the world. Um, it's also going to give you a uh, diagnosis of your vehicle, um, tire pressure, that kind of thing, uh, when the oil changes are, so it's a, it's a great, great feature. Um, here we have our, uh, our switch to enable or disable the boards um, right here. 
we have our, uh, our inverter right here from the factory. Um, so great for uh, charging your electronics. The vehicle does have another inverter that's uh, about two times bigger than this that you could probably run a coffee pot on, uh, but it's really meant for a, a gaming system electronics. We have our USB right here, which is also a charging port that also uh, goes back into the radio for audio, that kind of thing. And you're always gonna get a better sound out of the, the USB here than you would your Bluetooth. Um, and then another 12 volt right here for the passenger. Looking down in the center console right here, we have our little cooler right here. This does come out of here um, to empty it out. It's not electric, um, which I think is a great thing. Um, but uh, we can take that out to clean it, that kind of thing. So it's right in a good spot right there. Heated power lumbar seats, eight-way power seats right here. Um, so these seats right here are on extenders. I can bring this back another six inches. I'm 6'1", I have plenty of room up here um, to stretch out my legs, that kind of thing. So I can also lower the seat too if uh, you have a bigger frame on your body. So coming down through here, we, here's our other inverter um, that is installed by Explorer Van Company, our 12 volt, our HDMI. I can plug a gaming system right under the here and uh, for my HDMI, plug it in here on my 120. Kids can play video games in the back or, or maybe you want to. Our uh, speaker switch right here. This is going to uh, turn on our, our, our rear speakers for the TV or our headphones. Um, I do want to point out that the rear system in the head unit is on two separate units. Um, so they can watch TV and uh, you can listen to the radio up here as well. Um, so that works out great. We have our heat controls right here. So they can control the heat. Um, of course, our, both of our remotes right here. Um, one for the DVD player, one for the TV. Uh, both of them are Samsung. We have our Blu-ray player. Um, and I do label them on the back so you know which ones to, uh, which component there. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Um, so you are looking to build out a Quigley van, no matter if it's an extended wheelbase, regular wheelbase, lifted van, custom built van, whatever you need. Um, again, my name is Mike Keenis at the White Bear Lake Superstore. We ship uh, all across the country, so don't worry about that. I'll make the process uh, seamless and uh, walk you right through it. My cell phone number is 763-607-5179. And thanks a lot for watching my video. Please check out some more. Have a great day.